In our last video, we installed a fresh copy of Atlas OS 11 alongside Windows 11. Today, we're going to test its gaming performance. But before we jump into the games, let's configure Atlas OS. Once logged in, go to the Atlas folder from the start menu. Inside, there are different configuration options. The first one is the software folder. Here, we already used the command to disable Microsoft Edge during installation, which I showed in the last video. The second file is install software.cmd and this one's really useful. It gives you access to a wide range of free software including game launchers, web browsers, screen recorders, file explorers and other handy tools for both gaming and productivity. Next, we have the drivers folder. If you've kept Windows Update enabled, most of your drivers will install automatically. But if you disabled it, you'll need to download them manually from your hardware manufacturer's website. In my case, I'm using AMD Radeon Integrated Graphics, so I'll go with AMD's WHQL recommended drivers. After installation, we'll configure the AMD software as shown, and you can also disable multiplane overlay for either AMD or NVIDIA GPUs using a simple registry key. For NVIDIA users, you can grab the Game Ready Drivers using the Advanced Driver Search tool on the official NVIDIA website. And for NVIDIA Control Panel, you can adjust the settings as shown. And if you're on Intel Graphics, just head over to the Intel Download Center to get the latest drivers for Windows 11. There's also a slimmer tool for both NVIDIA and AMD which can debloat driver software. You can run it according to your preference. After that, Go into the General Configuration tool and you can disable Copilot and Recall features which seem already disabled, so I don't need to rerun. Other than that, I will disable Background Apps Activity Delivery Optimization. But I'll be leaving CPU idle settings alone because it might cause crash issues. I'll continue by disabling File Sharing, Hibernation, Mobile Devices, Power Saving and Minimizing Search Indexing. Then, I will restart my computer. The last thing I want to do before testing any game performance is to check the power plan configuration on both Atlas OS and Windows 11. On Atlas, the Atlas power scheme is already selected and on Windows 11, I've set it to high performance mode. And if you're on an AMD machine, make sure the AMD power slider is set to best performance. We disabled all kinds of overclocking to simplify things for Nvidia and Intel users. So our rig is running on an AMD Ryzen 8600G with Radeon 7060M APU paired with 16 gigs of DDR5 RAM and a fast SSD. We're kicking things off with Fortnite. The game is set to recommended settings and resolution was tuned to super resolution in the AMD control panel. On Atlas OS, Fortnite played smoothly, no lag, no input latency. The frame rate difference compared to stock Windows 11 wasn't huge, but the gameplay on regular Windows just wasn't as smooth. Next up, we tested Black Map Wukong at 720p, scaled to 1080p, lowest settings using AMD Super Resolution. On Atlas OS, we got an average of 62 FPS with 71 max and 54 minimum using about 3.5 gigabytes of VRAM. On stock Windows 11, the average came out to 61 FPS with 79 max and 49 minimum and around 3.1 GB VRAM used. So the performance difference is very small, just 1 FPS on average, but Atlas OS showed a steadier frame pacing, while Windows 11 hit a slightly higher max but also dipped lower. For Doom Eternal, we once again scaled the resolution to 1080p using AMD Super Resolution, testing on both stock Windows 11 and Atlas OS. This time, we pushed all settings up to ultra except motion blur which we disabled for smoother gameplay and here's the surprise 
Atlas OS was hitting close to 60 FPS consistently, while stock Windows 11 struggled, barely reaching 45 FPS. That's a massive performance gap, showing how much optimization Atlas OS brings to the table, even in demanding AAA titles like Doom Eternal. On Street Fighter VI, we enabled AMD Super Resolution to scale up to 1080p. We kept the settings modest to minimize the load on the integrated graphics. The results on Atlas OS, the frame rate stayed locked at a smooth 60 FPS, dropping only on rare occasions. Meanwhile, on stock Windows 11, it struggled to cross 55 FPS. This clearly proves Atlas OS is more than capable when it comes to delivering a consistent gaming experience, even on integrated graphics. We also ran a Furmark stress test on both operating systems. The results showed Atlas OS performing about 2 FPS higher than stock Windows 11. So, for me personally, I can confidently recommend Atlas OS 11. Whether you're into gaming or productivity, if you found this helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.